especially if you have two bulk claws, then it'll be great experience if you're in higher difficulty. Now there was a chaos sorcerer, which I'll also explain since you guys are both new there. Huh? I mean, talking at the same time and playing, uh, there's a lot to catch up on. Alright, well, the Chaos Sorcerer, it has three different techniques, and at least in normal mode, but other difficulties, the same thing. Oh, and other in product. Anyway, Chaos Sorcerer has three spells, it's Wraith Boy first, which is cast by the Right Person. Halfway there, to keep on going. The second spell would be G Barton, which is also from the Attack of Crystal. And the third spell would be Rested, which heals um, allies as well. And it continues throughout that cycle as long as the crystal live. If not if that specific crystal doesn't live then you'll just kind of skip over it, I guess. Yeah, I mean I just sold a shield that's that I can equip with a few levels, but that doesn't really matter too much. Alright. Now another enemy you just saw that appeared was the Chaos Spring. Now they're like the badasses of the room, so be a little careful. I don't want to say badass because they're tough both, both offensively and kind of defensively. They start off usually with a charge attack depending on their distance. If not, then they'll just kind of stroll over towards you and then do a huge slash at you. It can be painful sometimes. Now after you hit it a certain amount of times too, then it starts to do a little special attack. First, it drains the percentage of your TP, which is pretty much immune to ranges, but it does it anyway just to kill that time. And then afterwards it shoots its little gun it had, I believe it was on the right hand, I, I forgot. But it shoots its little gun, uh, hits everything in that linear line, and it could be, it can be pretty painful. If I recall correctly, too, it is a set amount of damage. So, uh, assuming you don't have the health, but you have a lot of defense, well, tough luck. Yeah, well, I just completely took the wrong way, so that's uh, a bit of a time killer. Sorry, Donoff. You're old, but you can run. It's good to hear. Keep my mech, because I haven't fed them. I just want to keep boosting up my accuracy. Just so I can hit and just so I can kind of equip things. Alright, well, let's see, where am I? That is the question. Let me look at the map here. This chalking got me a little bit distracted, but I guess I want to head one of other directions. Which I believe I know. Pretty much uh, the sum of all the ruins enemies, I believe. I don't think there are anymore. I'll try to think through the list as I go on here, but. Oh, wait, no, there is one missing which we'll probably encounter eventually. It's rather one of the most annoying enemies in the whole game, if you ask me. And you'll see why. Okay, well, you can hear that too. I just run these boxes, get the loot. That. Oh, a bunch of traps. This little trap for the demon. Okay. A little bit lazy here, so. Okay. Oh, oh, we got a bunch of claws. So decent experience. Okay, so we're at 50. And thank you for interrupting my action. Because I had to waste an action to talk to you. Confirm your text, whatever you want to call it. Well, I'm guessing that's going to be a s standard secondary optional room, or whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to avoid that and then move on. And please leap and upward. Let me guess a poison trap? Oh, a damage trap. Not so much damage though, only 40. And another poison trap. Thank you, Donna. 
mean, even though it may seem like you don't have much time, it, it's really not that big of a deal. Just take the right route, and then you'll get on with a lot of it. Oh yeah, one other thing that uh, I forgot to mention regarding Dark Souls. They're tough cookies, as I mentioned before, as you can see. But they are really tough as well. As you saw, it shot its arm at Donna, which is pretty painful. But they're slow as hell, so you can kind of out outwalk them, I suppose. But um, after a while, it does shoot its arm if you're within a uh, good amount of range for a while. But if you're up close and you're directly in front of him, then it'll slam its two arms together and inflict a massive damage on you. <coughs> a little more. 10,000 enemies or monsters? Here I come. And that slamming attack um, has a chance of inflicting paralysis on you as well, so just be a little careful. Again, for androids, that has no effect really, so no worries for you guys. I'll check out that secondary room, seeing where I will go so far. Uh, go to that dead end first, maybe I can find something. Well, not dead end, but little boxed in room, I suppose. Well, I have one more laser gate to open, so I'm guessing that really isn't a secondary room. That's part of the quest. Assuming you want to complete it. because I keep looking at my computer screen. Just check it for IMs and whatnot. So... Yeah, I think I already went here. Yes, I did. Okay. I can tell by the minimap and the texture. I mean, you could probably notice it from the video here, but you never know. In this case. Right. Uh, let's see. I think I'm have lost here. Oh, no, never mind. I'm in the right direction. Never mind. That's nice. I don't think I've ever mentioned this one, have I? There. Oh, right. I'm really not a fan of them, but they're a throwing blade that hits one point. They're like a boomerang that's, that has a little chain lightning effect, only it never comes back. So, I'll pull it up a little demonstration. Like, you can see it is ranged, which is nice, but it's not all that accurate. Speed is moderate, but every time you attack, it seems like you step forward. I'm not sure if there are any classes that don't do that. I mean, that's personally why I never really use the uh, slicers here. And I got a solid shield, I believe that's all 27. Yeah, I know all this stuff because I've been playing for a while. Okay, so. This was indeed needed, so that was a bit of a time waster there. 